Hey everyone, Michelle Alexandria here with another review. Today I'm taking a look at Power Beast 3 wireless headphones from Apple and the folks at Beats. The reason why I selected these over Apple's AirPods are because I a both Apple Air, AirPods and these Power Beast wireless headphones include Apple's W1 chips chipset, which makes pairing directly makes pairing this to the iPhone to your iDevices. Dead simple, so stupid, anyone can do it. You're supposed to be able to pair this with no, without even, um, without hitting the Bluetooth button at all. The, the minute I turn this on, my phone should recognize it and automatically pair. And also, the other reason why this is better than iPod, than uh, Apple's AirPods that everyone's raving about is the fact that this actually has 12 hours of battery life. It has 12 hours of battery life. It also includes quick charge, so... If the battery goes dead, you can actually do a quick charge and get it up back up to like 70% within about 20 or 30 minutes. That's pretty darn cool. The iPods, by contrast, only have five hours of battery life and you have to carry them in that stupid little case. Um, the other bonus is you can actually get these. You can't get the AirPods right now. The AirPods are like going back order for like five weeks or some nonsense like that. And it's probably all YouTubers trying to review them. Um, so I actually, these things retail for $200. I bought these on Amazon for $149. They are currently on sale, at least the black color is on sale on Amazon for $149. I'm not quite sure um, why only the black color is on sale and all the other colors are still $200. So yeah, I bought these because I actually have a pair of knockoffs that are called, these are the SoundWiz Pros. These are the SoundWiz Pros. And I bought these on Amazon five months ago for $40 and I really like them. And as you can tell, the only problem is they're kind of flimsy because this uh, thing is a little really loosey goosey um, and bendy. Um, but the fit is really nice, it's really comfortable. Um, and there is a sort of noise canceling isolation feature just by the fact that they really fit snugly in my ears. Um, so I really like them. But the problem is pairing them to the phone and keeping them paired is. A pain in the butt and every time I disconnect I dread having to disconnect because it doesn't always the phone doesn't always automatically find these headphones like they should so I find myself just getting really frustrated at the fact that it's not connecting I have to do all this weird stuff with turning off turning my Bluetooth on and off and everything else just before it finally connects so that drives me nuts so and it won't even stay connected the pair won't even stay connected to my iPad half the time so yeah, that's why I wanted to get these. The problem is I feel like I just bought the same thing again. Um, so I'm going to take these out of the box and I want to try pairing it to my phone before I talk about all the issues that I actually have with these headsets, uh, with these headphones. Um, so what I did was I, I disabled the headphones on my iPad and on this and I'm hoping I could duplicate my issues with this headphones right now live. Let's see if I could du duplicate it. I probably can't. So first I'm going to do a feeble unboxing, which, it, which you know, again, obviously had already unboxed it. So I'm going to, so this is the box. You take them out. So here you go. Here are the headphones right here. You can see Beats, the little logo, and everything else and right away you can tell how stiff it it is look how stiff this is compared to again look how flexible these are and they actually feel like they're kind of broken but they're not um and feel how stiff this is and this one that this doesn't even move at all and they really fit tight in your ear and there's no give at all um which is both good and bad um it also has a remote right here so you can fast forward, rewind, pause, hit, you can do your Siri thing right, right here. And somewhere around here, there's a built-in mic. So it works pretty seamlessly with your, with your iPhone. Um, so you have that. It also comes with... It also comes with the, some extra 
some different size earbuds, so it's not a one size fits, fits all situation. You flip this over, there's a carrying case, and then you also have the charging case. And the charging case, I, I'm kind of annoyed with because the charging, ca the charging cable is really tiny and there's no, you know, what is this? <laughs> there's no um, link to it. So I would definitely end up losing this if I ever had to carry this somewhere. Um, so that's the open box experience. So here, let's see if I could duplicate turning um, the automatic connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this on. The power button is over here. So I'm going to power this on and see if my phone... Uh... So, so as you can see, my phone isn't automatically finding it. When I first hooked it up, and I pressed the on button, the phone automatically found it. Now that I, up oh, there it is. But, but you, but, so basically what happens is it comes on, but it's a little slow. And all you do is you hit this connect button. And it's going to connect. And you can see the battery life. It actually came with 80% of the battery already charged up which was nice so now it's connected to the phone and to prove it you can go here to the settings on the phone maybe one day I'll do a what's on my iPhone um, um a what's on my iPhone segment because people on a new on your, your YouTube your YouTube people seem to like that I don't know why you care but maybe I'll do that so if you scroll down you can see my power my power beats are connected. Now I'm going to show you my first issue with this entire process. So I set it up here. Then the promise is that the promise of the Apple's W1 chip is that it will work seamlessly with every Apple device, and I'm supposed to be able to order. So my iPad should automatically find this device, and my MacBook should automatically find this device. So. It, the same way my iPhone did. So I'm going to close this. Now, now the thing is, when I had originally set this up, I had to turn off my iPhone to um, get my iPad to recognize it. And, and this may be a little misleading because I wasn't able to disconnect my, um, my Beats from my iPad so I could run this test again. But um, it should... Let's see, let's see what happens here. Like it should, it should already be, con it should already be connected because it's, a, it was already connected before and I didn't, I didn't forget the device. I didn't do a forget device. So here, if I click the settings, so already you can see it's not coming up here. So when I click this, it should show up. So if I go over here to Bluetooth, So as you can see, my beats aren't connected. And that's annoying because, because of the fact that it actually relies on you having our iCloud turned on, you would I really expected this thing to automatically connect to every one of my devices. I know that's probably unreasonable, but that was my expectation when I bought this. So if I click the connect button, so now I have to manually connect this. So, and now it's connected. But I don't see, but the problem is if you have to, if I had to do that, then I don't see how that makes these Beats wireless any better than these $40 headphones that I already have. And then here, let's see if it disconnected from my iPhone. I'm gonna open up my iPhone and let me see if it disconnected. Yes, yeah, so it actually disconnected from my iPhone to connect to my iPad. So you actually, um, so naturally you can't have your power beats connected to both devices at the same time which is clear because there's a reason why that is it's an obvious reason because how 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 is the headset going to know which device to be playing on but the problem is apple's marketing leads you to believe that with the new if you go to their website and see all their marketing the w it leads you to believe that the w1 chip actually solves all those that kind of compatible those kind of compatibility issues and if i got to go through all of that um connecting and disconnecting nonsense and going having to go in here 
then I might as well just use the forty dollar um a forty dollar sale with pros. And the other pro my other issue with these with these headsets are they fit really snugly in my ear and I really don't like that aspect of it. But from a sale quality perspective, these things are not two hundred the I'm gonna these things are not two hundred dollars better than these $45, uh, these $40 headsets. And actually, instead of saying $200, I should say these things are not $150 better than these sale whizzes. They're good, they're, they're good, they're solid, they're nice. I like the, it, it has a nice little, a nice, a nice base quality to it, but I don't, and it's definitely an upgrade to your, to your regular Apple, to your regular Apple iPods, um, the you know the standard headsets that come with your iPhone, they're definitely an upgrade to that. But it's not a two hundred dollar upgrade to those, and it definitely is in a hundred and fifty dollar upgrade to these. So, in, and I like the base. The base is really solid. Um, it's not an overwhelming overwhelming amount of base. So I think it's what I think it's really well balanced. Um, but yeah, I just don't think it's going to be, it, it's as amazing as I thought it would be. And the range, the, I will say the Bluetooth feels more stable um, than this. Like, these things were never disconnected unless you manually disconnect it. The range is pretty much as, the same as these. So I would say it's about 100 feet away from your phone, uh, assuming it's unobstructed unobstructed but if I go around a corner or something at work or if I go around the corner or something at work at the office I'll lose the connection right away or if I go through an open door um, because my building has a lot of doors um, if I go through an open door in a pretty in a closed door obviously I'm going to lose connections um, so I would say these things are almost they feel almost identical to these and I'm not saying these are these are cheap knockoffs or anything, but I'm just saying these just feel, look, and act almost identical to these. I would say these are slightly better, but not by much. So that's my review of uh, the Power Beats 3 wireless headphones. If you like this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and, I, and leave a couple of comments. Uh, but if you do, please be kind. Um, I'm trying, I'm over the whole internet hate thing, but I would be curious to know what, what you think of Apple removing the iPhone jack, and I'm curious to know what kind of wireless beat, wireless headsets you would recommend. I have 30 days to play with these, so I may use these on my trip to LA next weekend, and maybe revisit and do an updated review for the website. So check out EclipseMagazine.com, I may do an updated review, like a two weeks later kind of review. Um, so yeah, um, 